Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy A Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT <laughs> Dynamite Explosive One Jonas. I'm the man on the sticks. You are the stick master. And we're playing Madden 20, the San Francisco f Nights. It's like 49 <laughs> nights and 99 nights. <laughs> Yeah, just like that, Jonas. All right, that's fair. Around the world in 81 nights. <laughs> fair. So uh, Ooh, you're playing on pro, as always. Mm -hmm. Playing because uh, you're a learning boy. <laughs> and uh, playing uh, offense only, simming that D. Oh, I'm going to play the moment, Jonas. I love playing these moments. Dude, you only Nothing got one on moment. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, God. I'm actually playing this game again. Yeah, dude, you're playing the 49 tonight. All right, yo, so I haven't played in like a week here so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Strux x smoke oh god what did i do i don't remember any of these plays x h hb blast Ooh, you're gonna blast off into one right r button to show it and then blot a out button. a button yeah and then, could yep. you go where you're supposed to go i pressed the button a hundred times jonas what okay see i'm bad i'm bad dude <laughs> you're good i'm bad man. you're what i call really good no dude i'm bad Give me. You said I could flip it by. Oh, yeah, boy. You can flip play, Jonas. I know. It's a whole new world, Shuffle dude. Play. Get off of me! No! Oh, <laughs> the boy, there, the big gang boy. There was too many men. <laughs> to penetrate on. There was so many men. It's not easy being a man sometimes. It's not easy being cheesy. I probably should have passed it too, huh? What was your favorite commercial growing up? Like when you were a kid and had a little stupid 80s commercial. First commercial. You know, Jonas, uh, d d d I don't really know if I have a favorite commercial. That's a weird question, and I'm kind of offended you asked it. But there's been some talk about the Folgers commercial. Oh, the, the, the alluded incest one? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Dude, on the second episode of the podcast, I was by myself. I talked about that. Like, what were they talking about, man? It was, it was some, some whole new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's, she's like, I didn't even hear the phone. He's like, and he bites his lip. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, look her in the eyes. Then there's, like, an extended parody version where they add on, like, the parents oh, walking yeah, in the kitchen yeah, talking about having yeah, sex yeah, yeah. or something. It's great. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I talked about that, uh, yeah. That, that's so funny. Flashback. We should go back <laughs> to, like, uh, the first season of the podcast before we rehash, like, those topics I talked about. Uh, was it when you used to talk about, like, urinal etiquette? Yeah, dude, just random stuff. Just like, stuff. We didn't do stories. Dude. Security guards. See, I, I kind of I missed the old format, actually. We, we, no, when you were on it, we always talked about stories. Did we? Yeah, I was, it was just me. What am I going to do? Be like... Guess what happened today, so Joe? <laughs> Washington. Talk about story. The very first one when yeah, it was me, dude, you, and Chuck. Yeah, because we talked about. Uh, well, we talked about peeing in the shower. Okay. So I guess that wasn't a story. We talked about Ronda Rousey getting Rousey. I recall that vaguely. Uh, we talked about. I don't know, dude. Some things. I don't remember what we talked about. It's kind of funny because, like, at one point in my life, <laughs> so bad. In like ten years from now or something, yeah. I'm gonna go back and like, we were this is trash. So, but no, maybe by then we'll be uh, millionaires and have our own media empire. <laughs> that would be great, Jonas. What would the, the Jonah Mites or the uh, Jonah Mike Records? We will have our own Xbox football game. We call it Crazy Town Football, Crazy and we will be Town and we will do we will record all the announcing like Madden and them do. So like when they're doing the when they're doing the football, it'll be us commentating on the game. Nice. That would be actually really awesome. That would be nice, and we could have like our cast of misfits in. Yeah, we'd have like sideline reporters and stuff like Chacho and some role in it. We don't we don't have enough friends. <laughs> I guarantee if we were making a video game, we could find enough friends to do voice work. That's true. That's true. True. Pay them a little bit. Yeah, they don't. I mean, we'd be able to hook up our friends a little bit, make a little bit of money. Trot would be like the sideline reporter. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, yeah, exactly. Catch it! Yeah, boy! Yeah, All right, Jonas. I'm making some forward momentum here, finally. Yeah, 
forty is kind of messed down. up. It is, man. And they were talking about like the one that they did just recently. Oh, well, I, don't, I guess I don't know about this one. Where like there's like a daughter and the shower's on and she enters and she kind of bites her lip a little bit and then she opens the shower and it's like her elderly stepfather being given a shower and like her eyes stay completely like head neck area but she like opens her robe as she goes in the shower and his eyes like look her up and down and he has like this confused look on his face is this real? This is a real commercial. Oh my god! I mean, what? it's done so lightheartedly where it's only like implied. But, but that's but. still. Why would you think that's a good idea? Like you're sitting in the production meeting and they're like, "Listen, you're sitting in the production meeting." He's like, "Listen, we're gonna have this commercial where a grown man in the shower and teen girl is gonna walk in and open the shower." Whoa! I didn't say three teen. <laughs> you're making it weird. <laughs> Oh, you're making it weird. I didn't say anything about her being preteen. It's a third, and I've been passing every single time. No, she's of age, sir. She's grown? Yeah, she's an of age, but you can tell it's his. his, his. No, Jonas. For some reason, it's not working for me. It's okay, man. You got a punt now. I mean, I'm fine with it. Nah, dude, I'm gonna punt it. Wait, should I go? Well, you're on the you're on the inside forty. Like, so you're gonna punt it out the inside. Oh, they, they want you to kick a fifty-yard field goal. Let's try that. All right, where's that at? X. Uh, X. Let's do it. it and it's gonna be a kicker. I do not like. See where it's gonna hit on the ground? Yeah. It's not gonna. You're, no matter if you hit a perfect kick, it's not gonna make it. It's gonna be. I don't short. believe it. Look at that, and I shanked it a little bit. Oh my god. And this won't get there. It won't be on So that just shows you trajectory. But it showed it landing in front of the goalpost on the ground. So why would they ask me to do that? Because they're not always great. All right, dude, continue the moment. They didn't do anything either, Joe. But hey, it's better than scoring touchdowns, right? Exactly. Like, I'm going to run it more. Because I feel like I haven't been running. Yeah, dude, run it. Didn't run in the Minnesota Vikings game. I know, but I, I'm not good at not running. Yeah. <laughs> you're laying on, you're still on top of the man. He's on the table and you're on top of him. a quick hitter inside, but that one was. I don't know, Jonas. I've, I've often thought if I'm a company, what it would be. And I don't know if I really want to start a company. Really? I would like to. Actually, Jonas, I'd like to get into real estate. Now, starting your own company. Like, you want to, like, hold on. You want to sell. You want to sell. Like, be a realtor? Or do you want to, like, do you do houses? No, we, we, now we've talked about no, talking about like, oh, I guess, ex explanation for the people. I would like to purchase uh, like a condo or like a duplex or something along those lines and like rent. I want to be a landlord. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, that's the deal. It's a bit having like that much money to wrap up into like something that you're not even going to really use. Or, yeah. I mean, but it's, it, it becomes just money immediately. Yeah, if you can if you can buy it, get it ready to live in and have someone pay basically pay your mortgage for you. Even if you aren't making me on it, they're putting equity in the home. Yeah, and that's the thing, man, and then they end up paying your rent and then you can use to just buy more stuff. These guys are being jerks. I don't like them. stay in the crazy town compound and buy a condo and rent it out. Taking the ball away. I didn't realize we were married, but yeah, I mean, yeah, we could. Start the crazy town if, uh, look, uh, sir, look, what, did, what happened? Is it the end of the game? Did I lose yet? Three, nothing, our <laughs> exciting. Uh, I would be fine with that, Jonas. If you want to, like, go in on a con, For the con, sole purpose of running it out or to live in it? For the sole purpose of running it out. I, I would probably not be I don't want to live in it. <laughs> just keep living in the crazy town compound and have this condo we run out. Yeah, I just want to collect money from it, and then when I collect enough money that I can buy my own a second. Yeah. And the thing is, is that you like put all the money for the condo up front. Like, yeah, you just need a chunk, yeah. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. You more, see, the problem is being able to um, pay the mortgage if someone isn't ready. And, we drop you in at the and then start you're playing another position in a three game. Uh, I don't know what property taxes or anything like that would be. <laughs> it's yeah. well, that that would be more more. Property taxes and insurance and in your mortgage. So that, that's all you pay <laughs> per month. The uh, and then somebody, then you would have to have your renter pay the and run. Run. We're just going to talk real estate now. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, with it? It's a little bit of a bant, dude. We know that's true. Based I'm, on that 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> but uh, you just gotta make sure the place that uh, was bought was, is uh, you're allowed to rent out. Some places don't allow that because there's like HOAs and they gotta. Oh, yeah, it's so true. it might be, but then you care of the property. Whereas a condo, someone else takes care of the property. So it's like that's the that's the the way you have to like figure it out. Get off of me! Boom, dude. I tried to juke him, dude. Yeah, I did. But um, yeah, dude, I would be okay with that. How do you feel about doing yard work? <laughs> How would you own um, that? I take pride in mowing lawns. What about like, but, like not just lawns, like anything else? I'm good, man. Like yeah, like flowers and bushes and stuff. Like I remember, I used to garden with my mom. <laughs> you used to, used to garden. Yeah, I used to go. Uh, time out. I know how to do that. Thirty seconds left. All right. Uh, but yeah, I remember gardening with my mom. Didn't care for it. Yeah, I used to do stuff like help my mom in her flower garden and like the vegetable garden, and I was just like, yeah. We used to do like uh, she had like a rock garden and stuff like that. Uh, pull but, down the. Oh man. Do I time out again? Go, no, you can't. You're out. Go quick. Pick play. What? I gotta, quick. I gotta go quick. Yeah, me. I hope you didn't pick a run. I did. Oh my god. Are you not supposed to? You don't get any points. Time out. No, you can't. Why not? Where'd all my time there you go? go? There's a lost opportunity. What are you talking about? I don't even know what's happening. We're talking it's about the rock. Half. We're you talking about score, rock gardens. And you're running Second in with no timeouts, and you can't stop the clock. Uh, we're Second talking about two. rock gardens, and then you change the whole narrative by making things scary. By making it relevant to what we're doing. Yeah. You made it scary, and I don't like it when it's scary. I'm scared. All right, I don't know. I'm running it too. You don't think I ain't? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Not good at this game. It's going to show when I, especially when I don't like warm up practice. Or, oh yeah, it's going to get bad. We're going I form. Where's my curls? That's the problem, Jonas. I haven't oh, picked. Oh, that's the, what it was. I haven't picked the curls all game. I can't find them now. It's an I form. I don't know, dude. Yeah, it is, but I, I don't know where my curls are, and I gotta hurry up. B button. He caught it. Oh, you did it! Look at you. He caught it. On the fiddle. <laughs> and I'm constantly pump aching. Get a that, dude. I told you it was a, it was a problem. You're like, it's not that bad. Can you just change the menus? And I'm like, no, it's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm constantly doing it. I still think you could change the menus. Oh, you get in the menu. And these you do you. are these my curls. Are these my my preacher curls? Uh, preacher curls, dude. How did you not catch that? The preacher curls are the ones that, like, you hyper extend. They're up and down, right? Like, preacher curls. No, it's just when you hyper extend your arm. Oh, one of them. What's, oh, hammer curls are the ones that go up and down. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I like those. I don't. Hammer curls? They hurt, dude. Preachers build your biceps up, fam. That's how you eat the big muscles. All I want is tone, dude. I don't need. I don't need. To, I am large enough. My, Catch my, it, boy. My frame is large enough. I don't need to be bigger. Nah, you can always go bigger. Don't no, ask any female. I don't like guys with big muscles. Ooh. Right, and then they're, yeah, they're just like. Hey. <laughs> I hate muscles so much. I hate them, dude. They're gross. Ew. I just threw that into a seed. And our boys almost got it. I don't know how he didn't catch it in with. No, this is hard. Does this get easier? I play on the hardest setting on the game. Go through the, go through the hole. Get out of here. Oh, you missing up two left, but you got it. You're getting there. I should have cut left. You're not even wrong. All right, uh, we're gonna cut left right here. Third and three, huh? I can get it. That's easy. <laughs> easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Get him in there. Oh, get in there. <laughs> nope, to the one. That's fine. That's you got, fine. You got first down. Moves, I know. Timeout. Give him a gain of four. Able right. To <laughs> they do a call timeout now. Might we no, 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 no. Don't call timeout. Right. Right. Get in the center of it. Oh, celebrate. Da, 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 you win. Yeah. <laughs> Weak ass throw. What are you doing? That's what Ryan back and back. Second effort there. Your mom said you should have been a doctor. 
Your, mo good punt this your mother's an astronaut. With tough field Ooh, position my language. Inside the 10. <laughs> oh, Jonas, uh, I quit my job. I yeah, don't, you've been talking about that for I a while. I don't work anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is now your job. We were making so much fun. Oh, and there he is. Get off. Get off. He's tough. Hey, hey. Get off of me. Oh. <laughs> I didn't like the spin move. <laughs> There you go, dude. You get it. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that. See, now when I when I do well in this game, I'm like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, it's just not hard. <laughs> and then when I do bad, I'm like, hey, this game. Yeah, right. Hey, 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 hey. Defenders jostling them in order to keep their concentration. Hey, 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 hey. I figure if I sound like Fat Arbor, maybe they won't touch me. Because Bill Cosby is a pariah on the nation. Get off of me, sir. Bill Cosby, pariah. Imagine if, like, when the Cosby show was on back in the day, people were like, man, one day he's going to be in jail for rape. <laughs> what? And you're like, wow, I would never think that, Jesus Bill Cosby. Jonas. I mean, that's what happened. It's not like. It's not like I'm making, yeah, making untrue yeah, statements. He said that he's in jail and he is going to Marquee's stay his whole one. sentence because he will not apologize for something he didn't do. <sighs> and then I died. Mm. Mm. I'm really big on not apologizing for things I didn't do. Some people think he didn't do it, Jonas. I'm not saying I'm one of them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Just saying there's, I mean, there's some people who think that Charles Manson didn't do anything wrong, too. Yeah, I mean, people think all sorts of stuff. <laughs> I mean, whether they're true or not, I don't know. <laughs> we know Charles Manson did it. There's evidence. Yeah, there's so far, I mean, wasn't there evidence? That Bill okay, Bill fine. What? Fine. But, so, okay, that's, okay, I'm going to talk about one of my shortcomings. <laughs> Your penis? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, that's more than short, sir. But, uh, that, um, I will not apologize for things that I do not do. <laughs> So, <laughs> I will not apologize. So I will apologize that you took it in a way that made you sad. Uh, I'll be like, if like for example, if, if I'm like in a relationship and my partner says, "Oh yeah, I know about this." Yeah, like I say something and they take and make it mean whatever they want it to mean, and they say, "Da da 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 da," and you, you know, and they're all upset. I'll be like, "I'm sorry that what I said you took that that way and you were upset about it." Yeah, but see. That just comes as an a hole, and it comes I know across that. confrontational. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's apologizing for the way no. they speak, but not apologizing for them twisting my words into what they want. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I do get that. Two minute warning, time out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just I can't do it, man. I'm not gonna apologize for something I didn't do. I don't know, Jonas, and I'm sorry, it's pretty easy, but I do get your stubborn pig headedness about it. Yeah, dude, right? It's like super easy. It doesn't, if that's not all. Then once you say you're sorry, then they want more. No. <laughs> and you're like, I <laughs> no. We call it a timeout. You know what that's called? Uh, TNT. I figured I got. There's a term for it. It's called passive communication. Passive communication. What it is is the example they gave in the book is that some people, some families, some cultures, whatever, they speak this way. Instead of speaking open and directly about things, they speak passively. The example that I read, say you're at dinner and there's one roll left on the table. A path communicator will say, does anyone want this last do, role? This one score oh. yeah, and in my world, I'm direct. If I if someone says, does anyone want this last role? And I want it, I'll be like, yeah, I want it. Thanks. Give me that. But what they're really saying so is the they're claiming the, the role. The fourth quarter is this offense gets and by asking, over. they're implying that they want it, it's, that everyone else should say, you can have it. It's like asking for your ID instead of just giving right, it. Right, right. So, and then if someone takes the role, that's actually kind of rude to them because they're Here's placing Karina. claim on it. But you have to, like, decipher what the hell they're trying to say. Yeah. Or they could just be like, I'm going to grab this last role. Or the same thing and grab the last role. Yeah. It's yeah. like, but that, but people who, who communicate, direct communicators mean something else with what they're trying to say. So they're constantly trying to figure out so what so the other person is saying. Are you saying that all women are passive communicators? No, not all women for sure. There's guys who do it too. And there's women who aren't. But it's like, so that way if you're like, 
if you're, if, so if you say something, you know, along the lines of just making a statement, they're trying to figure out what you're really implying by it. Hmm. So, um, I can't think of another example off the top of my head. But so, like, so then if you're a direct communicator and the person you're talking to is passive, that's why you have tons of problems because they're always trying to figure out what the hell you mean when you literally are speaking what you mean. And then you're, tr mm. then you're taking what they say literally when they're really trying to convey another message. Yeah, but it's like you're speaking two damn different languages. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that, and that is that's an that's an excellent w way to look at it. But I'm sorry, this is like it just it just ends it. <laughs> Does it really matter if I feel better or worse to a certain extent? If I'm sorry, just is like it's over. I don't have to have that conversation. Oh yeah, no, but no, like th that was two separate topics. But I see your point. If you if they could just be like, you did this, and you're like, I'm sorry, and it ends it. Oh my god, it doesn't end it though. Dude. It does, dude, because it's oh, I don't have to talk about it anymore and um, that's my goal in life jonas does not have to talk about yeah, anything we, do this and we talk constantly well, yeah yeah but like i just meant in general like it opened my eyes when i realized it was a turn and a thing and i was like oh my god yeah you really are speaking two languages the same language a different way yeah it definitely helps to uh at least digest it when you when you witness it well right and then you can understand where the other person's coming from it doesn't make it any easier to communicate with them mm -mm. but it but you can understand and like that's why like lately i've tried to have the mindset so of like example, however you feel is valid i may not feel the same way but those are your real feelings that's how you feel about it so to you it's real whether i feel that way or think you should feel that way or not you know, one man's tan is another man's too right dude it keeps coming up full circle <laughs> like you want to fight because you think i didn't want your jonas, soup jonas is speaking from personal experience no, this <laughs> yeah, you are. No, in the video Alright, as always, well, please make sure to like content. Uh, if you really, really like it, go and like and subscribe again. <laughs> Do that. Make more accounts and subscribe with them. <laughs> and watch on all of them. Yes. Uh, for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We are uh, out to...